Okay, let's take a look at the Buchle Wave Shaper. But first, let me start with uh, the UI of Alpha Forever Changed. And it's constantly changing from now on until we um, release the new version. So you will track the development on these videos that I'm producing because I find that I don't like to use the uh, official build because of it feels legacy to me and uh, I want to I always want to work with the newest version uh, because this is the way I test it um, and if you want to try this version um, watch the end of the video I will talk about it and um, yeah let's start uh, taking a look at this uh, wave shaper which is a pretty iconic wave shaper um, it's called timber and um, or, or wave folder of the 259 uh, oscillator complex oscillator it's called and uh, it, it is really interesting uh, in the terms it works so we are not going to build exactly the same but what we are going to build mimics the way it works uh, properly but not with the exact values because we are going to eyeball the the mm, wave shape for us and it's not going to be too hard it's just just interesting I, I didn't think of such a method so i think it's interesting to share and we are going to make use of the polarity node which is basically the most simple rectifier you can have but it's oversampled that's why these little bumps are there that's because of oversampling and we are going to put an absolute value in front of it which is which is fine uh because if we subtract from the polarity from the polarity sim put a value between zero and one then we, we if we offset the absolute value then we get this empty blank area in the middle and the volume drops and this is what we are going to use for uh, wave shaping so we are going to use several of these uh, blocks exactly five and we are going to mix them together uh, in a special uh, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> we, are, we are going to mix them uh, together in a, in a special way yeah that's that's I think the right word uh, but we, we want to use the negative part as well so we are going to, going to flip back these uh, uh, this part of the patch like this and we want to multiply this value with the polarity and what we got this way looks all right except that there is this bump and if i set this to zero there's also a similar bump here which is not cool it's because of the oversampling so if we put a delay into this uh, Part, then we can set the timing of the multiplication right and now what we need is to I, I first I, I want to move these here down a bit and uh, this part to the right and yeah the final thing to do is to multiply these by a value, create a, a knob for it, and it's going to be in between minus 64 and 64, because these are the values that work for me, as far as I've uh, um, experienced. And I put an add 8 node here, and basically we have most of uh, the job done. We just need to copy this part so these notes and paste them five times three four five so we have five of these uh, wave shapers align the corresponding notes to the same location same x location using the right arrow and I move these up so the patch gets a bit more compact and now let's patch in the multipliers and let's patch in the 
input from the absolute value. And that's nice. And one more thing is what we need is that we need the input into a multiplier. Align it to the left of this and move it a bit down. And this is going to be our base. But we need to delay this as well, just like the ones that are oversampled. All right. And And finally, we need to mix all of these chains together in an add node. Basically, this is all we need. This is the uh, wave shaper. We just need to set up the values from this point on. And this is interesting. So I, I think this is going to be show why this is called wave folder and <laughs> why it's folding because of yeah, let's center the signal and we mute it. So if I, uh, this way we change the volume and it looks like we are rotating the slope, but that's that's fine. Uh, and we want to have a slope like this, a, a really steep one. And then on this first one, we set a bit of uh, width, you know, this area is going to be blank here. So it's not going to be uh, doing anything. Let me plug this into B so you see on the orange one what this part looks like. And then we start to subtract. And then we get a signal like this. And this looks about fine. Maybe a bit less offset. So yeah, this way it's okay. We don't want to touch the ground because these need to go a bit in a slope like this it's it, it should be fine like this and then here comes the next one it should go into the opposite direction so i plug this output into the b so that you see it and then it bends if the slope is right then we can extend it further like this and yeah, here comes this one, plug this into B, give it some gain, and make it wider. And that's, that's pretty much folding that. And this we go into the, ah, let's plug in, it's so nice that we see it. So let's give this some width, and fold. Less. And now with the final one, we will want to touch the edges. So from here on, we want to go there. And from about here on, we want to go to there as well. <laughs> so, uh, and since this was positive, we have to go into the negative direction but but let's first set the offset so now we are touching the graph but we have to go higher so this slope looks a bit more aligned yeah like this and now let's set the slope so that we get from here to here and from here to here And voila, we have our uh, Buchla Style Wave Shaper done. Uh, let's copy this patch, cut it, create a designer, call it Buchla 259 or Timber 259 or whatever. Put this inside of it, press I on the X and press O on this. And call this Y, call this X. Oh, what happened? Uh, that's called X, so let's call this I1 and this O1. So we match the things, it doesn't matter that much, it's, it's just me. 
So let's, uh, let's take a listen to this net. And for that first, um, I make this patch a bit more compact so that you can see stuff better. And here I'm gonna delete this LF also because we do not need it anymore. But yeah, if you wanna listen to it on a solo, this is fine. But uh, this is aliasing us uh, a lot. But it's fine for seeing the waveform. And uh, yeah, let me just use a simple oscillator here. And the best waveforms uh, to use these are sine and triangle by default. because of uh, anti-aliasing and uh, band limiting creates uh, sharp peaks um, and lots of movement in the yeah, in this area and these uh, the wave shaper picks it up pretty hard so it's I, I do not recommend sending a band limited so wave or stuff like that inside of it but uh, a triangle wave works fine and the sine wave works also fine as you can see and uh, I also suggest that since all these um, it needs a hard clipper after it I think at least for my taste it's not a bad thing to place here because of your original circuit would clip anyways but this way the clipping uh, stage is also a bit uh, anti-aliased because of this hard clipper is pretty much anti-aliased and the way to drive this uh, wave shaper is simply to let me remove that waveform there to use a multiplier so we, we are just setting the gain uh, in front of the wave shaper and that's going to and let's go from 0 to 4 and here we set the lowest amount which is going to be yeah, like 05. It, it is going to depend on the wave, wave on your wave shape. So, and let's go until three, maybe. Uh, two is enough, as far as I see. Yeah, this is fine. We can go until three. That's no no problem. Um, and basically, this is the wave shaper. We can take a listen to it. It's nice, and you can also offset the input to have some asymmetric results if you like that. So this way you can also put an LFO here and move these offset and just use a gain to control it. And still you can add the value to it so the offset gets constant. So this is the depth of the other phone and this is the gain. So this is the constant offset, sorry. Let's call this offset. And this is the... Uh, I don't know. Mm, timber. And this is the offset modulation depth. Depth of modulation depth. And this should go from minus one to one anyways, but... Mm. 
and it works with the triangle wave as well. So, this is a fun little thing and it opens lots of possibilities in terms of, uh, of views and you can customize it for yourself. You can also modulate these parameters, you can create different styles of these wave shapers, like uh, have your own, so it's worth to build. And uh, finally, I have to mention that this was built using this development build. And yeah, we have development builds again. And you can download if you are on uh, if you are a user. So if you are a registered user, you can hit me up on Discord, and uh, I can grant you access to the verified user area, where you can download where you can always download the latest development build, and uh, you can receive announcements and uh, notifications about it. And you can also download this patch because I will, I will share it there. And this patch will only work with the latest build, uh, with, uh, with the build I've built it uh, and later on. Because uh, the official build is not uh, compatible with the latest ones. But this is the way I can work uh, actually. So I'm sorry I can't provide uh, this patch in the official one. It would work. You can build it there. But then you have to build it for yourself. And uh, um, so thanks for watching. I hope you had fun and uh, I hope you found this interesting and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.